Hey, how's everyone doing? It says ready to cast. Oh, wait, looks like, looks like I'm doing stuff. I'm sure everyone wants to like, subscribe, and all that kind of jibber jabber. Why wouldn't you? It's been an interesting week. I had a short week because of the whole uh, Victoria Day thing. I made sure to go on an American uh, uh, Twitch stream and just, just point out that if they hadn't left, if they hadn't had that whole American Revolution, they'd have had that day off too. Ha ha, suckers. Maybe I'll start with that now, just because, you know, it gives me something to, to uh, talk about in the, in the beginning while all the millions and millions of chat viewers show up. I have mentioned before that Bodies of Everest is still playing music and writing music and stuff. Um, did you order a ladder man? Oh, Jesus. Ugh, what a fucking, what a start to things. What an epic start. So Bodies of Everest is one of the bands I'm in that has been actively uh, making music throughout the, the pandemic and working on stuff. Um, and I thought it might be interesting to those that are watching to sort of go over a little bit of, of how we're doing that. And, uh, um, you know, any, any musicians who want to follow along at home can, can give it a whirl. I've done additional things to be able to make this OBS thing that I'm in work with this, but uh, if people want to know how, I can tell you. Um, it was actually a, a pretty simple and complex process. The way that we went about this is we, we were all using, you know, home recording stuff. And um, for me, I had not done home recording stuff in a very long time. The last time I did home recording things was back when Johnny Incognito was recording albums. So that would be like, a really long time ago. Um, so home recording was, was out of my wheelhouse. Um, and I had a, a bit to learn. The first thing I did was I downloaded audacity, which is a free DAW digital audio workstation or whatever the fuck W stands for. Um, but it's, it was free and it was good and I was able to use it, but it, it's, it's a little limited. So eventually I, I bit the bullet and I paid for a program called Reaper. I really like Reaper. It's actually made by the people that, that wrote Winamp way, way back in the day for us old-timey MP3 pirates. Um, and Reaper is actually, uh, one of the things I really like about it is they have a uh, perpetual free trial. Um, they want you to pay for the software, obviously. But if you don't pay for the software, they don't stop you from using it. Um, they just give you like a five-second nag forever. Um, I chose to pay for it cause I knew I was going to be, you know, actively using it and it would be worth it. It was fairly cheap. I think it was like 60 bucks or something. Um, and totally worth the money. So I bought Reaper and, um, I bought myself a little digital interface, which is this bad boy right here, which I can't seem to figure out how to make appear on the screen. It's handy dandy and pretty it has all the simple bells and whistles. It allows me to plug my, my bass in and uh, uh, hear what I'm doing and all kinds of, of good jibber jabber. So what we do, our, our method, is we actually still get together once a week, but we get together in the cyber world with cyber powers. Um, and by that, what I mean is we, we have a weekly Google Hangout that we use. You could use any thing. I own a Discord server. The theory was we would use the Discord server, but it won't allow me to share desktop audio, and it was just a lot easier to just keep keep using the Google Chat. But it gives us a chance to, like, once a week we connect as a group uh, or as a collective, because, in fact, it's become a much larger thing. We now have a keyboard player, a cello player, uh, two vocalists, two guitarists, bass, and drums. So that's that's been a fun thing to, to like, explore and expand with, with the band. But... Um, when we got into um, the whole Reaper, sh what we would do is use Google Drive to record a track and then put it up on the, the drive as a, as a stem file that you can download, like MP3 or WAVE or whatever. We can all download them, bring them into our Reaper or whatever DAW we're using, and play. So I'm going to show you an example of this because it's neat, and I can do that. So. This is me and Reaper. 
Reaper is above me and beside me over here. I have my bass. It's beautiful. It's a five string. Squire something. I don't fucking know. I'm not one of those guys that like knows gear when it comes to this stuff. I'm going to just angle down my thing a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And focus right is muted. I don't want that to be muted. I'm going to mute my mic though because that's a thing. Um, otherwise, you'll just hear that noise the whole time, the, the fingers on top of things. So I'm going to mute my mic, and we'll. what I've done is I've recorded, <laughs> or I've, I've downloaded two tracks, the drums and the guitars, one of the guitars, um, for a song of ours called Parallel Paradox, and I'm just going to record a bass line. It will not be amazing. It will not be like, holy crap, Jim, you are a brilliant musician, and... The world should bow at your feet. But just to give you an idea of, of you know how simple this is, the digital interface is really nice. Uh, when I was doing Audacity, I was actually using the like the laptop microphone to record uh, with my amp. Uh, I don't have an amp upstairs at all. I'm playing entirely through my DAW. With the microphone, you have latency, and latency is a giant pain in the ass. With the digital interface, you don't. So now I can just actually record and, and stuff we will talk we will do the chat thing hopefully people will chat but for right now this is i just thought this would be interesting this so this is parallel paradox
screw up the timing all the time. Anyways, this is not about me getting a perfect take or anything like that. This was just about me sharing with you, the viewing public, just how cool this all is. So that's kind of all I wanted to do there is I just wanted to talk about, um, you know, what we did, why it was good. I totally forgot to mute my mic, so I'm sure that the whole time you were just listening to click, 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 probably garbagey, but such is life. I don't need these headphones in. I should probably take them off before I strangle myself by taking off the bass. What I would then do is I'd take that track out of Reaper and I would, uh, wow, I lost viewers doing that. Cool. Um, I would take that track and I would upload just my, my part to the folder and then people can take that and copy it into their, uh, their version of it. And we, we sort of build the song that way, which is kind of a cool process. Uh, and it has been really interesting to, to figure out that like, all of this is is totally still a, a doable thing in in a in a COVIDy world. So that's been fun, and I hope that other musicians uh, are are you know equally finding their own unique ways to go about doing stuff. First off, I want to say thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thank you to my patrons that support me on Patreon. Um, I am a little streamer, and these people are all really awesome for supporting me. Uh, first, to the followers, those diabolical souls who hear the words and give of themselves, your faith shall be rewarded. Thank you to I Am Canadian. My next tier is the prophets, those who receive the wi uh, whispered truths before the masses, who hear the word and speak it smugly before other people get to. Um, special, special huge thanks go to my one prophet, Shithead Dave Anderson. And of course, my final tier of supporters is the gods. This tier is the most expensive and likely to never have any members, but Patreon really told me I should have one, so it's true, I guess. There are no gods. If you want to be a patron, head over to www.patreon.com slash biguglygym and sign up, and uh, you too can get a hearty, rousing, full-of-love thanking. I try to put up stuff at least once a week, and I live stream every Saturday at noon uh, Mountain Time on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, like an old man. Again, thanks for watching, and have a kick-ass day.